This is the very best base in Pal World. So to get to it, look at this, Rex's Rolex, right next to the Sealed Realm of the Thunder God. Where do you have it marked on the map? This little tiny icon right up on top of this mountain. That is exactly where we want to go, and this is the ideal place for you to build a base. Now, you will need a flying creature, so just take out whichever one you have. We're going to go with Van Run. So the first thing is, is the stick. This is a very beautiful base when it comes to the layout of it, the trees that are here. And then also from the position that you're at, you can get the mountains in view, the world tree is in view. And so there's a lot of things that are going on as far as the aesthetic goes. Not only that, is you have a lot of ore locations here, surrounded by all this. You have a nice little pond here. And there is technically two ways in. You can come down this way, but there is only one true path per se where there's a road coming up. And depending on where you place this, your pal box is more than likely most of the raids are going to be off of the map so what I mean by off the map is that they're gonna go and spawn down on the road right here and try to make it up to the base and by the time they get anywhere close they're gonna already despawn due to the timing so you're not going to have to deal with much raids, and with this open area, how big it is, you're going to be able to put all of your resources in here, all of your workbenches, and it's going to be very easy for you to fill this up with a two or three story building. So, how about we get to building and I'll show you just how the far the layout is. And we're just going to use some wooden locations. Actually, let's actually drop down a foul box here. Set it down. Let's see what our layout looks like. Okay. Got most of that area in. Is there any ores that are not? We got all the ores, so the perfect place for there. Let's see how far down we went on this side. Okay. Just to that. Um question is do we really want to go that far? How much are we losing? We're losing about two tiles. I'm okay with this okay so we're gonna start here get where we can get into um, Go to our edge here. I'm gonna lay that short. Here. And it's always nice for you to go in and build your foundation completely with 
what you have so you get a much better idea. That's going to be our base. Let's just move this real quick. I'm going to slow the Okay. Put it in two. Okay. okay. And that would be good for our initial. Okay. So the next thing you want to do, and this is always a good tip, is depending on which pals you want to work in your base, you'll need to build it at a certain height. If you're just dealing with the small ones that are about your same size, you can go with the one high. Typically people are going to be using the bigger ones because they ha generally have the three times, two times, four times and five times as far as the efficiencies go with each of the different things like for mining and so if we want a really huge pal to be able to fit in our base we'll have to build each floor three high I'm just gonna build each floor two high So this is going to be your structure right here. You're building your base and this location. So you have a lot of floor room to be able to do it. And then even with the entrances as far as where you are structuring it. If I was to move the PAL box a little bit further over here, I could have got two extra tiles to it. So expanding it just a little bit longer. But this is definitely going to be beneficial for us in regards to what we want to do. And also, wherever you want the palace to come in and out, you should have it completely open. You don't want to have them hindered at all in that aspect. So I'm going to go that one. And because we pushed this so far out, we actually don't need anything on this side because they're not going to be going here there's not going to be any raids so we don't really have to worry about raids so we can only have them have access the only thing that they're really going to need access to is these things over here to be able to mine this ore so this is perfect there we go wooden slant i love this whenever you can't like with the stairs oh in this case the stairs do allow us to go in here but typically what I'll do is I'll use wooden slants because anytime that stairs are not able to go down, you can use this wooden slants to be able to easily enter into it. But again, just look at the, you have the mountain over here, got another mountain over here, and when we are finished with it, we'll make sure that there's a nice viewing location from here. but definitely want to have it view in tree.
I'm gonna be out of my initial wood system here, so... I'm gonna go ahead and mine some more wood and I'll be right back. 